Okay guys, today we're taking a look at my ultimate survival knife. Talking about what the knife is, how I set it up, and why I think this is pretty much the ultimate survival knife. So without any further ado guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome content just like this. Okay, so for my ultimate survival knife, I was a little bit conflicted on how I wanted to approach this. I wasn't sure exactly, you know, what type of knife, how the setup should be, and I ended up deciding, keep it simple, keep it pretty foolproof. And the other kind of side note or side tangent to this is the fact that this is the ultimate survival knife, but I don't think that in many practical survival situations should you just have a knife alone. In an ideal situation, uh, you would want things such as a small saw to go with this, you would want a small hatchet or axe to go with this as well. Now, that being said, I do think that the proper survival knife should be able to hold its own by itself as well. So that plays some kind of portion to casting the judgment for what should be the ultimate survival knife. I also wanted to choose something more budget friendly because instead of just showing you guys a $400 survival knife and saying, ah yes, this is the best one, I want it to be practical and realistically attainable. So that was kind of my reasoning behind going with the Cold Steel SRK in SK5. It's not the best of best knives, but I think for the price point, it has proven itself very worthy and very much a righteous choice for being the ultimate survival knife because it's very attainable and it's very usable it holds a good edge it can throw sparks off the back of the spine with a ferro rod and it's very comfortable has a temperature neutral grip it doesn't get too hot doesn't get too cold and the whole blade itself works very well for survival applications not to mention the size is pretty much in that golden spectrum where you can easily baton with it it's a good size to do some moderately larger tasks like shelter craft, but at the same time too, it is a good camp knife for doing tasks around a campfire. So that is the blade, and of course on it I just have a good old fashioned paracord lanyard. So the next part that makes this more of a ultimate survival knife is how I have the sheath rigged up. Now there is plenty of fancy gizmos and gadgets I could have attached to this sheath. I could have done signaling mirrors, whistles, and many other things. And in hindsight, maybe a whistle would have been a good uh, attachment to this sheath. But I didn't want to cramp up the sheath with a whole bunch of useless, cool kind of pieces of kit. So all I did was I rigged up six feet of paracord, primarily strung through the back underneath the belt loops for the scout style carry. And so that gives me six feet of paracord to use at my discretion, whether that's for shelter craft or for anything else. It certainly is there and certainly valid. And then of course, as you've been probably staring at all along, I have a Light My Fire Army uh, ferro rod right here attached to the sheath using the same paracord that I have spooled on the sheath. So with that ferro rod I can confidently and reasonably easily start fires in any situation. Um, with my experience level for sure I am definitely not scared to use a ferro rod to start just about any fire and it actually works very well. So that is very securely in there. It's not going anywhere unless you really pull on it. And not to mention, I also secured the end of the lanyard. So if this thing should happen to wiggle out of here, though I heavily doubt it would, um, it would also have to pull out the lanyard as well. So that's pretty secure and pretty safe in there. And overall, the rigging is pretty pretty easy, nothing too complicated. Now, like I said, I also am running this scout style, so this is not quite how you would get this knife sheath out of box, but uh, this this is just a, these are just simple belt loops that I attach on to the sheath right there and right there, and of course those make this knife a lot easier to carry, and I like scout style a lot if I must carry belt or a knife on my belt, it's going to be scout style, and so that works out very well for the whole ring of the sheath. Overall, I think that this is, like I said, without getting too crowded and too cumbersome, 
the best way to carry the most important and most valuable pieces of survival equipment on the knife that you need, which is cordage and combustion. Of course, having cutlery here. And like I said, I don't think that any type of ultimate survival knife is going to be perfect in a standalone unit. And I've got out of this kind of mindset of trying to build up the perfect survival kit on a knife sheath. It's just cutting way too many corners and making something that's not genuinely truthful when it comes to survival. I want pieces of kit and equipment that are really useful things that I can actually practically use instead of coming out here on YouTube and recommending a whole bunch of rubbish. So that is my ultimate survival knife and how I have it set up. The Cold Steel SRK with just a few add-ons. That is the ultimate Alaskan and general survival knife. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.